Hello guys, this is Rich of Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But before I start the devotional guys, I would like to shout out the following person or channel na napunta rito at then join sa devotional natin dahil na. Shout out and God bless to Connie Vlog, Royal Blood TV, Monique Kiliamore, Molik Salamada, Retro Vlogs, Yvonne Angelit Reo, Rios Anvillegas, Heart Ponsalan, Yans TV, Psychic Carion, Pamilya Lagan Channel, and even to those who did not join us during the premiere but still, napunta pa rin dito para manood at makinig. And making time with God. God bless us all, guys. TV Praise God, it's Friday at makapagpapahinga na naman tayo bukas. ba diba? sa mga sudyante natin, enjoy your day uh, kasi tapos na yung exam. Pero maliban sa grade 12 na may not pass lahat sa uh, periodical exam, second periodical exam. I guess it's not proceed to our devotional. Let's open our Bible to... Mark chapter 10 verses 26 to 31. Still guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words you see so simplified na maintindihan talaga natin. What I'm reading is still a part of the rich young man's uh, story. So the word of the Lord in Mark chapter 10 verses 26 to 31 says the disciples were even more amazed and said to each other, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Amen. Let's claim it, guys. No? Peter said to him, We have left everything to follow you. I tell you the truth, Jesus said, No one who has left home or brother or sister or mother or father or children or fields for me and the gospel will fail to receive a hundred times as much in this present age. Home, brother, sister, mother, children, and fields, and with them persecution and in the age to come eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. Amen and amen. I guess it's not pray. Yes, Father God, we already experience your abundance, but yet, human as we are, we still long for more abundance that comes from you, O oh God. And this is what we are always praying. Lord, thank you, dear God, that with you nothing is impossible. Thank you, dear God, that you are always with us. Thank you, dear God, that you always come back us to come and join the devotional in order for us to grow. Thank you, dear God, for convecting us to really meet with you, having a date with you every 8 o'clock in the evening. Lord, thank you, uh, and I pray for those who are always coming here and to the new ones to please bless them, dear God, in any way. I know they also have their needs, and I pray na ikaw ang um, sasagot sa mga needs nila. Thank you also, dear God, for using other people to bless them, Lord God, being an answer to what we are praying for them. Lord, thank you for this time. Bless us as we continue with this devotional. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and Amen. Okay, guys, our focus verse for this evening is found in Mark 10, 28, and it says, Peter spoke, We have left everything to follow you. So the title of our devotion for this evening, guys, is Surrendering All. Two men remembered for serving others for Jesus left careers in the arts to commit themselves to where they believed God had called them. James O. Fraser, from 1886 to 1938, he decided not to pursue being a concert pianist in England to serve lists of people in China, while the American Hudson Van de Venter in 1855 to 1939, choose to become an evangelist instead of, instead of pursuing a career in art. He later wrote the hymn, I surrender all, 
If you know that song, guys, that's a very nice song. You search it on YouTube, Surrender All. While having a vocation in the art and the perfect calling for many, these men believe God called them to relinquish one career for another. Perhaps they found inspiration from Jesus counseling the rich young ruler to give up his position to follow him in Mark 10, 17-25. <clears throat> Witness in the exchange, Peter explained, exclaimed, He have left everything to follow you. In verse 28, Jesus assured him that God would give those who follow him a hundred times as much in this present age an eternal life. But he would give according to his wisdom. Many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. No matter where God has placed us, we are called to daily surrender our lives to Christ, obeying gentle call to follow Him and serve Him with our talents and resources, whether in the home, office, community, or far from home, as we do. He'll inspire us to love others, putting their needs above our own. Amen and Amen. We can serve God in the way God plays us no? Although, mas maganda talaga yung mga opportunity talaga sa mga nagpunta ng mission because they deny their, their comfort no? just to serve God. Grabe yung faith nila. I've been to mission, but uh, I was only in the mission for three years. No? So, nung tumuntong yung 2000, year 2000, I go back to my homeland and here in Bukidnon. Wherever God placed me, I deserve God in that place. No, especially that I was active in sharing God's word before. <laughs> lalo lalo na nung naging board of director ako ng Philippine Student Alliance Slave Movement. But still, because we're growing old, what I'm doing this time is I cannot go anywhere to share God's word. Na kaya dito ako sa YouTube ngayon. Guys, you don't need to go away in order to become a missionary but where you are planted that would be your mission field no hindi man tayo maka share ng word but at least we can share our resources no matter how small no yan yung promise ni lord god will bless us a hundred times di ba nabasa natin yun dito god bless us hundred times. <laughs> yung sa aking nga parting words ko, God bless us ten times better. But kay Lord, one hundred times. So, di ba? Kasi, we surrendered everything to God. No? No matter how small, just give it to God. And God would bless us a hundred times. No? Surrender all to Jesus. No? Kaya, I want you to listen to that song, I Surrender All. No? Nasa YouTube na yan. Straight sina lang. And you will really be blessed of the words. I guess let's now proceed to the two questions. Who comes to mind when you think of someone who sacrificed for Jesus? Ay, marami, marami. No? Nakakasamahan ko sa mission. No? Kasi I know the difficulties of being in a mission. Di ba yung sinabi ko sa previous ano natin, maski chinelas, you cannot just buy it immediately, but you still have to pray for it. Di ba? Grabe, no? Grabe yung standard ni Lord. Kailangan yung choice talaga ni Lord. Second question, how is God calling you to surrender? Well, sabi ko, no, the kahapon ba yun? <laughs> Think of myself, I'm satisfied already, contented, but because I'm helping people around me, then I'm still keep on praying something for God so I can all the more help people surrounding me so yun no? okay so guys let's not pray jesus help jesus help us to surrender our all for you today as we serve you and those around us for your honor amen and amen yes guys let's surrender all to jesus and god would bless us 100 times guys thank you for making time with god 
it's not with me, but you are making time with God every 8 o'clock to this devotional. God bless us all guys because I know we'll surely bless us 10 times better. This again is Rich TV. Kita kita tayo malitangan sa muli. Paalam!